What's going on people, Alex Thorne here, and I'm just a rock and roller who likes to watch movies while wearing a hat this time. Usually it's a bandana, but while wearing a hat. In any ways, um, I've always been a huge, huge fan of Resident Evil and have played all of the uh, all of the games for the most part. I've probably missed a couple here and there, but outside of playing the games, I really, really love the animation movies. And I think I missed that on the very, very last one. But the Netflix show was amazing. The first few, Degeneration and Damnation, a few other ones. I mean, so much better than the movies. Um, I really didn't watch uh, the movies. I think I watched the first or tried to watch the first one with Mia Jokovic. I thought it was terrible. The second one was pretty good. And then the third one's all uh, right. And then everything else was just like, okay, I can't deal with this. But there's a new one called... Uh, Death Island and we're gonna watch the trailer for that and I'm really excited because these are always good so let's check it out After all she's been through she's trying to make up for what happened to her You mean how Wesker brainwashed her and made her come after us? No one's blaming Jill for that No one Except Jill Dr. Taylor? Yes, we need him in custody ASAP. I checked the DNA we got from a bite wound on an orca carcass. It had a strain of T-virus in it. You're kidding. I found the connection between the folks that were infected. They all visited Alcatraz recently. Well, Dr. Taylor, it's time we debuted our... <sighs> creation they turn fast and without being bitten i'm rebecca what do you want me to tell them someone accessed the dod server they managed to steal data on leon uh -oh. jill chris and claire you think this might have something to do with the operon now most likely i'm going to use my virus to Clean the slate. Dylan! Suckers. You're nothing more than pawns. That can't be good. Yeah. Final stage now. That there is no justice. Well, it's over now. Time to light you up. Let's do it, all of us. Definitely going on vacation after this. Whoa, so it's coming right up, the release of this movie in July. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm really excited for it. In fact, I'm going to head over and place a pre-order for the Blu-ray now. But, you know, it's cool to see everybody together. That's probably the, one of the coolest things is to see everybody from the franchise together like that. That's just, wow. The fact that you don't have to be bit anymore, uh, you know, kind of puts that danger out there all the time because it's in the air. So that would be interesting to see as well. Um, I thought at the end there, because there was so much going on in that trailer, but at the end when that tentacle is, is passing by and everybody's doing cool flips over it, that's just like, it's such a video game thing. And this looks amazing. Um, I'm definitely, definitely going to go ahead and check it out. You know, th this series lends itself, I guess, better to animation than it does uh, live action because we can't get a good live action movie at all out of them. So let me know what you think. Are you a big Resident Evil fan? Uh, do you prefer the live action to the animation? Do you prefer the animation to it? Are you going to check this one out? Let me know down below because I know I'm picking up the Blu-ray right after I finish uh, filming this and post it. All right. I'm Alex Thorne. You know what I got to do. I got to rock out so that I can watch some movies with you guys. Mm -hmm.